Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Paul Price. I'm with Paul Component Engineering. We make bicycle components in Northern California. Um, Adam has asked me to do a little uh, description of some stuff, and so I'm going to jump into it. Uh, this is our cassette hub, which has been in the making for at least 10 years. Uh, I have built several ratchet mechanisms. Many have worked fantastic, some haven't worked for crap. Uh, they've all, the ones that have worked fantastic have been very expensive. All had manufacturing issues. Um, we contacted Industry 9. They were interested in selling us their ratchet. And I took a look at their ratchet and it's an amazing piece of machinery. So that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, we've got a non-disc. They're all sort of high flange. Uh, because the, the Industry 9 uses a giant bearing in here and a very large ratchet. Um, the non-disc version will have two, will come with two plugs on the uh, end of the axle, uh, and one will make it 130 millimeter, one will make it 135 millimeter. Um, they all feature our, our standard bearing adjuster uh, with a 15 millimeter uh, spin-on. Uh, cinch down adjuster. Disc version, 135 only. The snow bike or fat bike version, 170. Uh, this is, we're shipping these next week. First 50, poof, are gone. Uh, we're doing 50 more. We're doing about 100 of these following the next month. Hopefully shipping these uh, all by the end of the year. You may have heard of the GoPro camera. Uh, we have a stem cap mount, replaces your stem cap. 100% made out of aluminum, very durable. You can use your thumb screw that comes with the GoPro. We're also gonna use, uh, include a screw, an actual stainless steel bolt. You can use a wrench on it, not going anywhere. Puts the camera in a great location, straight ahead. Uh, films the trail real nice. And then you can turn it around and you can film your crotch really nice too when it's 180 degrees. Uh, this is our new Mini Moto and Mini V brake. Um, the arm length, we kind of, hopefully, what we think is hit the sweet spot for the SRAM, Shimano, and Campy levers. Um, I've tried it with all of them. I love the feel of it. Fantastic brake, powerful, nice modulation. You might notice. One arm is bent more than the other. This bothers some people. Uh, but what I did that because it keeps the noodle from poking out too far on this side. Um, also, we've got this ingenious quick release that works really nice. All, all brakes use our standard pivot spring system. Been doing that for 20 years. It works fantastic. Uh, never, ever wears out. And finally, the reverse lever, which has a internal expanding collet. Put a wrench in here, like a typical tri-lever. Two pin locations, so it works with every kind of brake made, different short pull, long pull. And he told me to say thanks for stunning by the pulpit, so thanks for stunning by the pulpit. <laughs>